In this video, I'm going to show you how to pull data back from Google Drive. Now, for this demo, I've actually got a fictional scenario which I'm going to play through. So hopefully it makes more sense why this is so valuable as well. So I've got a form here that I've already started to build with a date capture, a picture and a signature. So the idea of this is I'm going to go and visit some customers and I want to pull their data back from Google Drive to populate the form before I capture the date and a picture and get them to sign it. So I'm going to switch over to my Google Drive and I've got a file here called Demo Customer List. And in it, I'm starting to build a list of my customers' details. And I've made a gap here just to make you aware that you don't have to be right underneath each other. There can be gaps if necessary. But the important thing to remember when pulling from a Google Drive or any other integration where you're using the data search tool, that you've got your headings across the top, name, email address, and phone number in this example. So I'm going to go back to the form, and I'm going to pull in a data search element. I'm going to drop that in at the top. Now, automatically, the pop-up will come up and uh, ask you to link that data search to something. And obviously, we want to use Google Drive. From here, I need to search for the Excel document I want to find. So if you remember, it was called Demo Customer List. And it's right here at the top because they're in date order the way they were added. You can use the search here to find other ones. Next step is this. So would you like to add your fields to the form? Well, yes, I would because I'd like to pull that data back in case I'd like to update any of those records. And then it's what search terms would you like to use in your data search? And I obviously know my customer's name and I can confirm that with the email address. So I'm going to click those two. You can do up to three different search parameters and then press link. That's now done. And you can see there's a little drive icon there and all the fields come up with an icon showing what they're linked back to. So we've got the little drive icon there. I'm just pressing save. So we've now made a save and this is now linked to Google Drive. Over here, I've got the form in its pre-built state, but now we've saved it. So I'm going to refresh the screen and our data search will appear. So let's quickly look at this list. You can see here I've got Matthew, James, Becky and Tom. So if I start searching for Matthew, it's looking at Google Drive and it finds my record. All I have to do is click on that and it will pre-fill the data. Then I will click date. And I'll click a picture and I'll also do a little signature there. This will also work in the iOS app and the Android app. It's a large picture, so just uploading that now. That's now connected and I'll press submit. That's now sent and we'll be waiting for us in our reports area inside LaunchCloud. 